So here we are. Have you ever had one of those times in your life, one of those moments where things are so crazy, so out of control, that you just want to shout, stop? Well, if you've ever been stuck in your home with your entire family in week one of a four-week shelter-and-home order because of a global pandemic, maybe you felt that way. I'm standing here in my living room in front of a picture that I think represents a lot of the same things that <clears throat> all of us are going through. It's when Jesus calms the storm over the Sea of Galilee. You know, this is a great story, but it's one that I think a lot of times people misunderstand. Think about this. Here's Jesus and his disciples going across the Sea of Galilee. The storm rises upon them. Jesus is asleep in the front of the boat, and the disciples begin to fear. They're afraid because the water and the waves are crashing over the sides of the boat. And so they do, like all of us should do. <clears throat> they call on the Lord. They come to him when they are in times of need and trouble. And what does Jesus do? He stands. He raises his hands and says, peace, be still. The storm goes away and the water becomes calm as glass. You see, this is where I think many people get this story wrong. They look at Jesus as if he's some kind of magic genie, someone who's going to take away all the storms in our life. That simply isn't the case. If you read on, Jesus talking to the disciples says, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? This isn't the only time that the Lord has said, be still. In Psalm 46, the psalmist writes, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. The Lord doesn't say that he's going to stop the earth from quaking or stop the mountains from being thrown into the sea. No. But he does say, be still and know that I am God. God isn't there to just calm the storms in your life. But what we can take hope in is that in the storms of life, our Lord is with us. Jesus tells us before he ascended into heaven, and surely I will be with you always to the end of the age. And so even now, when we're in the middle of this global pandemic, we don't have to be afraid because we know that in his word, Jesus has promised to be with us. And he's with you right now. So even though there are things in this world which are evil, things which can cause us harm. We can have peace. Be still and know that he is God and he is with you and he will be with you forever. Would you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you have given to us. And we thank you especially for sending your son, Jesus Christ, into this world to die for our sins so that we could have eternal life. We thank you, Lord, that he is there with us always. I pray that you would help us to remember that he will be there, that he will keep us safe, and that in all of these storms of life, he is with us, guiding us and protecting us. Please be with all of our families and friends. Please be with those who are suffering from the effects of this uh, pandemic, and that you would bring them health and healing. We ask this all in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Go in his peace.